Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. This is a subscription service from Bespoke. And you guys know, I don't usually like subscription service. Not really my thing. Not, uh, and I think that's more like because of the gimmicky stuff you get like as gear wise. Like the gear ones. Like uh, the, uh, I don't know, I can't think of any of them right now off the top of my head. But, you know, you get the same old kind of crappy gear Bespoke is more like um, kitchenware, it's uh, stuff like that. You can pick and choose what, what your box is going to look like. And so I don't know what it is, I completely forgot what I got. What I got last time was um, a, a really nice bag, I'll show you. Last, uh, last Bespoke I got this one and then I decided I'm going to make a video because this is really nice. This is a travel bag that I got from them and it's a canvas travel bag and uh, it's just mainly just for clothes. That's it, and it's very nice looking. I mean, if you're going vacationing a quick couple of days somewhere or whatever, or a, a night at a girl's house or something, and you ha and you got this bag, you know, this is an overnight bag that just is looking super classy. It's a nice, cool beach bag as well, or if you're going up to the mountains, it's just nice leather. It's it's super freaking nice. Uh, and this is from Lion of Trade, and um, that is a really nice bag. So that's what we got the first time. Didn't do an unboxing on that. But let's do what we got here because I don't know what I ordered. I forget what I got. Let's use the old Bradford M390. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do a little cut action. Nothing is more satisfying than opening things. All right guys, am I right? Maybe if I learned how to do it. Or maybe if they learned how to tape a box. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. Now we're at this point. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Carving knife and fork gift set? Oh. Well, okay. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a kitchen knife set or something. The box is nice. Carving knife and fork gift set. Whoa! Oh. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Dudes. Wowzers. Oh wow, this is nice. And a car and a whoa, a poker thing knife. This is awesome. Oh, this is perfect for Thanksgiving. Too bad I'm not having Thanksgiving here, but whoa. Look at that guys. So some of you who may be following around in the channel know that uh, the kitchenware stuff is something I've been getting into lately. Um, I ordered a really nice, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? So I got the vacuum sealer, but I also got a really nice uh, cast iron pot. Um, so I want to learn, start doing cooking and start doing videos like that. And this thing is, this is really nice. Look at this freaking knife. Hammer stall. This is CRMOV 15, high carbon German steel. I mean, this is a beautiful kitchen knife. I mean, this is my main squeeze now. This is going in the kitchen. I have to get something for this, I guess. I mean, I guess I could keep it in here, but it feels nice. I mean, nice in the hand. This is a really nice knife, guys, for a kitchen. And look at this wood handle on this thing. Um, this is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a serial, serial killer comes to my house. He's probably grabbing these two items to kill me. But, uh, whoa, I guess we got to learn how to cook because, um, is it sharp? Woo, I guess so. <laughs> is that the directions? We know how to clean it. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Love it. Oh, my God. That thing is a razor sharp, dudes. What about this one? This didn't seem great. That needs a sharpened on it. That's not bad. That needs to be sharpened. Okay. Um, 
feast. Oh, look at that, the turkey. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. Uh, with some basic guidelines, the proper tools, breaking, ba breaking your bird down to manageable, presentable pieces is a breeze. Use the hammer stall. Carving fork to hold the bird in place on the large on a large stable cutting board and start separating the meat from the bones with the hammer stall carving knife. Keep the pieces warm on a platter that you microwave microwaved or run under warm water. Collect the juices in a gravy boat. Sure, there are more advanced tutorials out there, but that's the uh, the gist of the process. Care. Hand wash with warm water and mild detergent. Rinse and dry immediately. Sharpen as needed. Bon appetit! I like it. It is fancy. Too fancy for Hard City? What do you guys think? Fuck no. Nothing's too fancy here. What I was carving turkey with last year is the William Collins knife. <laughs> this is the cart turkey carver around here. The fucking survival knife. Alright, so... <clears throat> There you go. Uh, I like Bespoke because they give you stuff like this. This is something I need. I don't have this. I don't have a good carving knife. I definitely don't have one that's this quality. I definitely don't have a poker, you know, poke meat or anything. Like, even if you have a steak and you're cutting whatever. I mean, this thing is, holy crap. I like it. Really, man, look at, look at this handle, guys. Holy that is a beautiful, beautiful knife. So, yeah, I like Bespoke um, so far. It's a lot of, um, let me how I put it. It's a lot of like, I don't want to say classic, but it's not like classic. It's like a uh, classic. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Classic and classy. There we go. So that's what it is. It's uh, classy kitchenware. Also, you can get other stuff. You, you, you can get, like, I really wanted, I thought I ordered, I switched my order to a flannel. But I don't know. Uh, really, if you're going to get a flannel, it's got to be a, a Pendleton, right, Cody? Uh, but yeah, the Pendletons, this is not a Pendleton. This is a Levi's, which is just equally as good. Not really. This is cotton. Those are wool. Um, but this one, I like flannels. I, that's what I want it. Uh, in the winter, all I wear is a flannel like this, or if it's really cold, I'll wear a hoodie with the flannel. That's why I get extra larges, plus, you know, I'm a pretty big guy myself. So, you know, this is a cool knife, though. Hammerstahl. Probably said that wrong in German. Germans are like, come on, man. It's figure. <laughs> Paper everywhere. Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, Patreon link below. I love you all. Have a great weekend. A great Thanksgiving, great holidays, Christmas, Easter, New Year's. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Peace.